Hello, welcome and good evening and this is the last part of my series on the Raspberry Pi Christmas tree and as you can see I deployed the thing on my server and yeah from now on until I don't know two weeks after Christmas or so you can uh, remote control my Christmas tree and I'm gonna uh, turn off the star at the top of the tree. It will take a few seconds, up to a minute or so. I switched from YouTube to Twitch because it turns out YouTube changed their um, licensing stuff, so I can't embed live streams on my own webpage unless I have an AdSense account, which I won't get until I have a thousand subscribers, I think. So yeah, um, YouTube is out, Twitch is in which doesn't change much. Basically only the URL that we are streaming to changes. And yeah, Twitch will serve you an ad or so before the live stream, but I think we can live with that. And with that, here while I was talking, the star went out. So that seems to work. Um, also seems that some people already played with the tree. Let's have a look at the uh, actual front-end code. So um, let's see what we have here. We have the web server that you already know. And I, I'm going to turn this up a notch. I changed only a little bit. I added to the main handler that it can actually serve three different files. Index HTML, uh, Xmas JavaScript or Xmas CSS. Uh, the latter one is so far empty probably gonna use that to style the page a bit more but not sure um, but I prepared that the xmas.js and the index.html are the actual interesting files so let's first go to the index.html file so that's just plain HTML I am using bootstrap to make it look a bit nicer so you can still see the styling is not good there's no no space between the buttons and the stream and uh, the numbers are all weird because those are the actual numbers on the tree and um, underlying they are ordered quite differently to the GPIO pins um, I maybe want to lay them out exactly as they show up on the tree but not sure if this will be intuitive or easy to visualize. Um, if that's not possible, I'm gonna sort them uh, because that makes way more sense uh, from top to bottom as they probably appear here or numerically just simply. Well, anyway, we can definitely improve on the interface, but it works for the time. So um, we have the style sheet for Bootstrap and the style sheet for ourselves, which is empty at the moment. We set a title and then we load the JavaScript. Um, I had to place it here at the top because for some reason the Twitch embedding destroys my JavaScript. I don't know why. Um, maybe some people with more web front-end capabilities than me can chime in on this. And then we have a container with the heading and a little note and then just two rows of content with some columns and there's just simply the checkboxes. Uh, important here is that they all have an ID, LED 0 through 26, and LED 1 is hidden because that doesn't seem to be wired up. Um, LED 0 is the star. Here's also <coughs> sorry, excuse me. There's also the um, label for that stuff. So yeah, basically we have a bunch of checkboxes and two buttons. Um, first of all, after we set up the, the checkboxes, we run a function get LED status, which fills the checkboxes on startup. And then we have two buttons to get the LED status if you want to see what the current status is. And set, which just sends off your status. And then we basically just play my Twitch stream. And that's it. This is purely optional bootstrap stuff. I think I can even kick that out because we don't make use of that. 
Yeah, so what happens in get LED status and set LED status? So let's go to the JavaScript function. It's the get LED status um, asks for the URL LED. And oh, look at that, someone turned off all the LEDs. Let's see, yeah, someone turned it off. <laughs> That's nice. No idea who that was. But we're playing for two viewers at the moment, so somebody is looking at the stream. That's nice. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, new XML HTTP request. So that's how you talk to other web services. And we want to do a get on this LED stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, someone playing around with that thing. That's nice. Yep. Okay, someone tries to figure out which LEDs are where. Very nice. Yeah, um, that's exactly why oh, this is so nice. Um, and then we have an onload function which gets triggered when the response comes and it just parses the JSON response and then iterates over all the LED statuses in the JSON document. <laughs> the tree is now really alive. So it iterates over all the LEDs and basically just sets gets the checkbox with that LED number and sets the check value depending on if the value was um, 0 or 1. In-between values are not supported by this UI at the moment. And the set LED status works similarly. We create a JSON document by iterating over all the 25 LEDs, or 26. Uh, then we again get the checkbox document element and get the checked property of those and then we set the value to 1 if it, the check value was 2 and 0 otherwise. And we append that to the array in the JSON document. Then we convert this to a JSON string document basically. So here this was just simply a JavaScript dictionary and now it's a JSON document. And we do a put request of type JSON to the LED URL and yeah, send off the stuff. And if there was an error, we print it to the browser console. Otherwise, everything's fine. And that's basically it. Um, not much to it. So what did that guy over here do? Uh, turned on those on the lower right again. Okay, nice. Let's turn off the star. Um, yep. So. This is all she wrote, I would say. Um, we have everything in place. So this is being served by the xmasweb.py thing on my web server. Simply running there and you can see see the thing here. Um, the GitHub page, you can look up the code on this. Uh, I will tweak the YouTube shell file. Um, it already has the uh, this version doesn't have the Twitch stream URL. I will change this to um, make it let you choose if you want to use Twitch or YouTube streaming, and I will just call it stream sh. And I will probably work a bit on the interface, uh, so the HTML and the JavaScript and the CSS file. But other than that, I think um, this is working pretty fine. Hmm. We can turn on and off all the LEDs. And let me know in the comments if you like this. Please do play around with this. It will stay on for the next two weeks at least, I think. And it will come back next year for sure. Because now we have a pretty good setup that we can just uh, take out of the box and uh, yeah, run it again. So, Thanks for watching, please share, like and very importantly subscribe because then I might be able to do live streams and embed them even on YouTube at some point in the future. But we are far off this goal still. But anyway, I hope you have nice holidays, have a nice Christmas and all the stuff and we'll probably see each other next year, latest. Bye bye.